Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. My name is Dr. Obsidia. I'm here with the man, the legend, the original gangster himself, Jim. What do you say, Jim? Use your illusion, too. <laughs> that was actually one of my favorite albums by Guns N' Roses, and still is. I still listen to that music once in a while. Number, number, number two is your favorite? Or both together? Well... Yeah, I think number two, probably. I mean, <sighs> Appetite for Destruction, you know, that classic, long time ago, 80s style rock and heavy metal. There's something to be said about that stuff. But I think Use Your Illusion 1 and 2 came out in the 90s, didn't it? It sure did, back to back, in fact. Yeah. Well, simultaneously. So, <clears throat> yeah, that, considering back in the early 90s music, I would have to say Use Your Illusion 2 is a good Guns N' Roses 90s style. I like I liked about half the songs on both albums. They were all good. After that, I I, I don't really care much for their music, but Guns N' Roses. Fourteen years since Civil War. Those are both really strong. Yeah. I like Estranged and You Could Be Mine from Terminator Two. Oh yeah, You Could Be Mine. That's a karaoke go-to. There you go. I need to hit some song. karaoke sometime when I find a place to go forgot about You Could Be Mine was on there. I always knew it from the uh, T2 soundtrack. Yeah, it's on there. All right. We could talk about Guns N' Roses a whole bunch, but we're going to move forward. Say, this is the this is the hard-hitting information you're looking for in a gaming stream. Yeah. I'm going to look over the edge here. I see, like, oil down below. I don't know how that got down there. I was seeing if I could light it on fire, but I can't. All right. Um, the dude's dead. And you were going to dead. consider whether or not you were going to wear that ring, right? But you decided against it after we had finished our stream or our video. I was s sorely tempted because uh, I thought that it might uh, provide us some quality uh, RP uh, options here. But I think it hurts. I mean, it's intelligence and constitution, which is right in my wheelhouse, but I don't see what the uh, drawback is yet. I think it's, well, see, the thing is, is I saw him running around and I saw the debuff called Cursed, okay? Right. I saw it on him and I was like, what's that? And I right clicked him and I clicked examine and Curse was a pretty terrible debuff, like minus 30% to dodge, minus 30% to move, minus 30% to damage. But I think you're undead, which means you're like Fane. <laughs> and I don't know so if I, you can remove the uh, ring. And it makes it makes me undead. I think so. It makes me ask the question: Can I shoot myself with my own poison dart? But it debuffs you a whole bunch, like minus thirty. Per you can put it on if you would like to try it. I don't know how we're going to get it off though. And it is back Brachus Rex, you know. You really want to deal with Brachus Rex? This dude's a real, like, shady cat, man. We're walking around with an undead cat. Yeah, but look what the look what he did to Trump Doy here, Trump Doy. That's Pro fair. <clears throat> That's not cool. But you see, my other ring is only plus one arrow thirge and plus five percent poison resistance. Yeah, but what if it knocks your? You're the healer. What if it knocks your capabilities down by like thirty percent and stuff? Hit points thirty percent. It was pretty horrible. I remember it. All right, I will. I will be prudent, as is my character's nature. I will not put it on. I'm holding it for a moment in case it uh, comes up in a story. Okay, it told you to put it on. If you want to, I, I'm I'm leaning against it. It is your. I gave it to you. I'm not going to wear it. You can decide. Could put it on Fane. He's already undead, but I don't think that's the only. That's probably the only benefit it has. Thirty percent's a big hit. Yeah, across the board, too, I think. Resistances, hit points, and everything. Armor, accuracy, all that. Just for a plus one to your constitution and a plus one to your intelligence. Yeah, I don't know that it's worth it. It drove Trump Doy insane. I don't know, maybe it was just... But I saw it on Trump Doy. Like I said, curse. I was like, "Ooh, curse is bad." Do you remember me saying that at all? I do. And that was because I saw it, and it was bad. Anyway, you can come forward so we can move on. I was looking at it again. 
All right, where are you at? I've just moved forward. I'm near the stairwell. I didn't move any further. And my dwarven legs are coming. It'd be even slower if you were cursed. Just, you know, my gut it my gut instinct is anything with the label curse can't be a good thing. I think it's got a lot of negatives, and I just feel like it's not going to offset it as much as you would like. Here's a gold pile. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous about coming in this room. That's plenty. That's plenty. I'm going oh, I'm gonna check that gold pile. Yeah, I'm going to let you check that. I'll, I'll go read the... Uh, oh, there's a skill book here. Supernova so Pyrokinetic. You got 117 gold, and there's a necklace of glowing amulet, which is uh, plus one warfare. So yeah. I think the Red Prince gets that one, right? Yeah. There's a purging wand if here. We, if we ever get the uh, collars off of us. Look at that wand. It hums with inner source. The wand hums with inner source. Yeah. Well, it's going over to Fane right now. I don't think Fane needs that one, though. It's Oh, it is better than what he's got on. But it doesn't have any effects to it. It grants Purge with only four uses, though. 160 critical damage. So it's better than his error. <clears throat> I'll just make him a Fire Mage right now. That Needle's Wand is pretty nice because of the intelligence. Man, I don't know. It does more damage, but only slightly more. All right. You want to open these chests, too, since you're lucky? I don't know if it makes a difference, to be honest. <clears throat> makes, a, makes a difference the fact that I'm going to take the fireball to the face. All right, here we go. Ooh, mama. Ooh, mama. We got ourselves 188 gold in this chest, along with a... Uh, Scroll of Armor, uh, Frost, an unidentified one-handed sword. Forge you can send action. all unidentified stuff to Fane, because he can identify. Okay. Forged with passion, tempered with precision. What happens to this sword next is up to you. Oh, so it's got like a history. Right. Need level one lore master and an identifying glass. You have the glass? Yeah, I have all that stuff. Just send me all the unidentified stuff. I just, like, kicked a quest up. I don't know what it was. And we Artifacts. also have a uh, Chicken Claw skill book. Requires polymorph number one. Well, I was thinking about doing polymorph. Which one? Fane? You can send all the unidentified stuff to Fane, and then everything else goes to uh, the big boss man here. Polymorph was Fane? Yeah. All right, so he gets the cookbook. Uh, he gets Oopsie. The sword. I think I think I just got cursed. <laughs> if you got cursed, I'm putting on the ring. Well, look, watch. I'll put it back on. Steam cursed. Smells like burning. Are you taking damage? Yeah, I believe so. I don't see your your oh. shields going down. Oh, interesting. Let's put it on. It's being cursed. No, it definitely says I'm burning and I'm taking fire. There you go. See? All right. We have to figure out how to remove curses on this stuff, I think. Now, I got Heart of the Tyrant armor, which is actually pretty decent, but it's cursed. I took up. Well, it doesn't say it's cursed. Anyway, there's another chest over here. Did you get this chest? I have not opened that. Uh-oh, hold on. You made it all this way. Prompto is still alive. Um... Why is he so intent on keeping us out? He trembles and seems to shudder with a quiet sob. Oh. I'm cursed, you know. Bloody Bracchus bound me here to protect his vault. He has my soul in that jar just there, and I can't leave without it. As long as the jar stays unbroken, 
I can never truly die. What did he do to earn such a punishment? I don't rightly know. This was the Source King's way. Befriend you, then destroy you. I was a fool to expect I'd be an exception. His favor was intoxicating. That's no excuse, but it is the reason. I'll agree to help him. Really? You... You would? He drops to his knees before you and grabs onto your feet with both hands, head hanging. Thank you. Whoa, I got a bunch of reward there. I can only choose oh, one, though. Enough. Um... Magical Pants of Prowess, which is wits and leadership, which is fairly nice um, for... But not so much for... Uh, I guess that would be Fane. I, well, you're... Are you going uh, Intelligence too with your Cleric? Yeah, that's how I pump up my uh, okay. heal spells. So that's kind of nice. Light Armor. Well, that is... Necromancer and Intelligence requires finesse. No good for anybody. The mach machete, <laughs> machete, the machete here. Um, I have Trump Toy's hatchet. Uh, it's not much better than what I already have. It's pretty similar. And the Thrasher, which is a two-handed axe, which is, of course, quite a bit better than what I've got on. But it's a single. So I feel that the pants are probably pretty good. Four physical armor, 19 match. Can you see it? I cannot. Okay. Uh, check your pants on your cleric. Uh, the beast is rolling with one physical five magic. All right, this is quite a bit better. What's his intelligence at? His intelligence is sitting at a 16. Okay, so wits will give you more casting slots, and leadership will do the same thing that my leadership does, which kind of overlaps maybe, but it's okay. I don't need, I don't need slots at the moment. If Fane needs slots, maybe he should have it. Okay. I, I have two empty slots right now. I need skills with this cat. Yeah, I don't think Fane needs it either. Okay, I mean, if it's all things being equal, then. Well, it's either I take... Why don't, why don't we wait? I'll open this chest here and see if we got something to... Well, I guess you got to pick now. I got to pick. See, the, the pants will help either Fane or you. The armor will not really help anybody. The machete is not really much better than what I got on, although slightly, possibly, slightly better, but not really worth switching. Um, and the Thrasher, two-handed axe, it is... Yeah, it's iffy. I think that we, we're definitely going pants. Okay, that's, oh, let's get the pants and choose see reward. Can I choose another one? No, okay. There we go. Small Thunder Rune. 9% damage as air damage. Air resistance is 5%, and dodging is 3%. I have no idea what a rune does. Um, it's kind of like a magical enchantment on your uh, stuff. Alright, well, I'm going to send that to you for now. I'm juggling stuff. This is actually slightly better than what I have on. Set's shocked. Critical chance and accuracy. Oof. 5% chance to shock. Now let's do this. Keep that on the bar, I guess. Alright. <clears throat> Thunder rune. Okay, we have... Uh, Thane has... His terrible pants. Foul trousers. So he will put on these. He's looking pretty rustic now. We also have a belt. Uh, belt has uh, telekinesis, and I think I need telekinesis because Bane is the telekinesis guy. So I can. Is that okay if I wear that? Absolutely. Okay, that puts my physical armor up too. My telekinesis is now at two, so Bane can actually move stuff a little bit now. That's pretty good. Yeah. So we've got some other jars here. Gratiana Soul Jar. We know Gratiana. She's from the... Uh, 
that colony. I'm gonna grab it. Okay. Ah, yeah, that's the that's a great idea. For you may have looked mm. opulent once, but no longer. Now it's covered in grime, its paint chipped away, and its jewels long stolen. The soul jar rocks slightly, light flashing from underneath its lid. On its rim, you can just barely make out the name Gratiana. I'm gonna touch it. As soon as you touch the jar's cracked surface, you see a vision of splendor. Silks, fine food, and decadent lechery. But Jeez. underneath it all lies bone and blood. The vision shifts. You see burning villages, slaughtered women and children. You see her, purging wand in hand, standing amongst it all. She throws her head back and laughter echoes in your skull. Is this the same lady? <laughs> this is the one that scolded me because of a little blood in the fountain? She better settle down now. <laughs> a shadow falls across her, and you see a large, weeping face. She reaches out as if to comfort, but Bracchus drags her back. You see her fall into the mire of the swamp, trapped. So that was a weeping face. That was the statue and the goddess, right? As you pull your hand away, you can feel a deep longing sadness in your soul. Is it regret or just sadness for a life that used to be? I want to smash the jar. You don't want to remove the lid and absorb it? <laughs> I'm nervous about that horrible, like, debacle there. And I don't like that lady anyway. Smash it. Oh, I can slip it to my backpack. Uh, I mean, we can always break it later, can't we? We can take it to her and see what she says. I don't know if we can or not. I'll put my backpack. Lucky find. Oh, we've got stuff to say here. The terrible vision fades. Gratiana used the pain and... Yeah. Gratiana used the pain and deaths of others for her pleasure. She should be damned until the end of time. I'm going the other route. Whatever a person may have done in life, they can always be redeemed. Pain's on my Whatever side. life began, it ended well. No one should be damned because of their youth. I disagree. Like you voted. She it looks like you're up. Voted three to one. He made people suffer. <laughs> yeah, but who knows if Brackus got inside of her squash and messed her head up while she? Well, I'm sure he did, but you know, we're purging the evil here. Yeah, right. but here's Necromancer Gwick. This jar that can't glitters go well. and glows. From within, you think you can make out the distant sound of laughter. With a jerk, your mind is pulled to a scene in a tavern. You see a dwarf in the center of the room, joking us all around raw with laughter. All bar the zombies, who are slavishly serving food and drink. The door opens, and a tall, beautiful woman stalks into the room. She's flanked by heavily armed guards. You can't make out her words, but see the fear in the dwarf's eyes. The dwarf mutters a word, and the undead lurch towards the intruder, but are cut down like wheat. The dwarf tries to run pushing her friends into the woman's path, but is grabbed before she can escape. As she's dragged away to a tower, you hear her cursing Bracchus Rex and his whore. Even when she's thrown inside and the door sealed, you can still hear her shouts. You pull your hand away from the jar, your head swimming. You can feel the dwarf's cold terror still twisting in your gut. Into the backpack it goes. Nice. That guy likes it. The vision fades. I can do little but condemn the necromancer's cowardice and greed. I can do little but condemn that necromancer's cowardice and greed. I'm a little bit greedy though, but I was gonna say we're we're inside of a vault and we're taking gold. Uh I'm gonna blame this on Brachus Rex. Honestly. Making the dead do menial work sounds kinder than having the living do it. <laughs> he is a necromancer, after all. Being locked in a tower was more kindness than any necromancer deserves. Okay. There's another one here. On that one. Yeah, another one here. The jar on the plinth before you seems ancient, but is in surprisingly good condition. 
It's covered in pictograms that you can't understand, but you're sure you just saw one of them move. The pictograms spin to life, and you're dragged into a dream. You see the lizards of the ancient empire turning their backs on you, casting you out into the wilderness. Oh. As you roam, the human apes turn away from you, all but one. One smiles, one opens his arms, one says he'll take you home. Bracchus Rex. Bracchus Rex. He promises power for a price. He picks off your golden scales one by one, stripping you down to the bone. He promised you a crown, but all you got were shackles. You try to fight, try to reclaim what's yours, but a woman takes you by the hand and leads you to a tower. He promised he'd take me home, you cry. You are home, she smiles as she seals the door. This is where you belong. Is that the same woman? Your hand Ollie. drops away from the soul jar, your skin prickling. In the back of your mind, you hear a small, scared voice whimper before fading to nothing. I'm going to smash this jar. That soul is pretty terrible. Like, pit -p pathetic? Pitiful? feel bad for it. Yeah. You see a shape emerge from the ruins of the broken jar. A lizard in the finest necromancer robes. It grudgingly nods at you as it starts to fade from the mortal realm. Farewell to flesh. Farewell to bone. Farewell. I'm not sure what that guy did after he was converted, but he was pretty much tortured into that. The long dead lizard's visions fade. He committed his crimes out of pain, <laughs> not malice. You ought to be forgiven. One can't help but have a bit of sympathy. Who wouldn't want to return to their home? <laughs> what he did shames his people. He's a lizard. I forgave him. Yeah. What have I got in these souls? Ancient soul jar containing the ghastly shade. I don't see how to drop it. Bane shares lore with the Red Prince. Gratiana soul jar. It says it's got stats on it. Oh, I can actually use it? Oh. Okay. I don't know. Reduces damage from poison? I don't know. Maybe I should try to absorb one of these just to see what'll happen. <laughs> the soul jar stands on its plinth, glowing softly from within. You can almost hear the whisper of a voice. You see, or rather, you feel, a far-off land. Frozen breath hangs in the air. Pine needles brush your cheeks. And in your arms, you can feel a weight. A body, dead. But you have hope. Your vision swims. You're older, but perhaps not wiser. You march at the head of a shambling host. The enemies of Bracchus Rex melting before you. All these people are necromancers. The scene twists again. <clears throat> stands before you, a beautiful woman at his side. You lash out in treasonous rage, but cold arms bind you. You're sealed away in a tower. Your screams fill the darkness. You feel a jolt and open your eyes to see the soul jar before you, lying still in the vault. Your hand falls from the jar and grips the pillar as you try to calm your ragged breathing. I'm gonna slip it in my backpack. Nice. <laughs> Coward. The necromancer's memories fade to black, but the feelings remain. We're better off without vile necromancers like that. <laughs> I keep giving mixed responses. Yeah, me too, but... No one deserves the fear and pain I felt in that vision. Not even a necromancer. Split decision here a little bit. One must wonder how many more lives they took. How much misery the scum caused. Yeah, split decision. Alright, one more jar. Everything's been a split decision a except for the first. Between two fallen columns, emanating a faint odor of seaweed and timber. When you touch the glass, your vision wavers. You emerge on the prow of a fine ship. 
Your armor pulses with enchantment, dominating those who draw near. Your flag flies for Bracchus Rex, a tyrant who traded for your soul. With his power, your flesh and blood is no longer relevant. The vision fades as the soul thrashes, trying to sever your connection. Ooh. It's trying to get away from me. Well, I'm a lizard. That makes me hunt. I'm going to chase it into the darkness. In the end, greed masters you. You seek out the tyrant's vault to retrieve your soul, but... Oh, no. With a trap. Thus ah, impressed, ah! You only dream about what is out of reach. Your soul and that alluring armor. The vision shatters as the soul squirms away from you, curling up in the bottom of the jar. The soul jar pulses with trapped life force. I'm going to feast on the soul inside because now I'm hungry. That was kind of a weird vision that got me unnerved. The soul flutters in fear. But with a source collar gripping your neck, your hunger cannot be sated. Jeez. Well, that did like very little then. The soul it's like pulses with trapped life force. I can't eat it. The soul flutters in fear. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna store it then. With trapped I can't eat it because it says the source collar won't let me do it. No. Nope. It's got too much soul for me. All right, I guess we were finished with... Well, no, not finished with this room. Here, look at this. Whoopsie. Took that picture off the wall. Three more pictures. I think I got them all. Those pictures aren't cheap either. Um, Good, because we got to buy some fish. <laughs> I'm slumming with healing potions now. There is a uh, switch here. I'm going to pull it. Okay. Yeah, we're out now. We've gone through the whole thing. Oh, this way. Right. The exit's right here. I think. There it is. I had to spin the thing around. Sounds like a song. Spin me right round, baby, right round. <clears throat> what spins round anymore? There's still your poison here, too. All right, well, now we've got these soul jars, and I'm not sure what to do with them, except put them in a basket. I'm going to put them in my basket. backpack. I'm going to put them in a backpack right now. We'll deal with them later. I'm also going to put the amulet in there. Okay. All right. Well, um, I guess we're moving on then, right? Moving north, looking for our friend. Forgot what his name was now. <laughs> Everybody's hero. Yeah. Now I've Gratiana's soul. Maybe we got to go back and talk to her eventually too. Well can't get through here. On the other side, I can see what appears to be barrels. Guess we're turning the corner here, then. Yeah, we've already been through here. We're just going to take a different way. You're still with me? Okay. There's a pig on fire over here. That I, I think that can't be a good thing, right? I mean, pig? Doesn't sound right, but it just saved, didn't it? Yeah. Uh... Are those pegs on fire? Are those pigs on fire? Now wait a minute. There's like poison stuff here. There's source. I'm talking to it. Okay. He started a conversation with me. Oh, he wants you to put it out. Yeah. The pig is engulfed in flames, but her skin remains unsinged. We've left in lakes and rolled in puddles of blood, and that makes no difference. Puddles of blood. Oh, and left in lakes too. <clears throat> okay, so my rain spell's not gonna work. Can't you do anything? Please release us from this agony. The pig is clearly getting worked up. She seems on the verge of racing away. You aren't sure? How do I know it won't worsen the torment? How do I know you know anything at all? Hmm.
want to guess your intelligence. Yep, I guess that's the best way to go. Yeah, failure. failure. The agony. I can't, I can't do this any longer. She's going to run through the poison and explode it. Watch out. Yep, here we go. There it is. Yep, set things on fire. I'm going to see if I can't get close to it and hit it with uh, Petrify. There's oil you're standing in, too. Just beware. Wow, she's taken off. Didn't work. Me into fire. Ooh. Fire's There's a treasure chest up ahead. Didn't work. This is source. Stand in the source. Uh oh, pig's coming. I'm standing in the fire. Okay. There's treasure chest up ahead, too. I'm moving forward. I mean, if the water spell's not going to work, I tried Petrify. That's the best I can do. We could attack them and put them out of their misery, I suppose. Oh, mercy killing? I guess, I guess we can't initiate a fight. I don't know. I'm checking some crates and stuff. Ooh, the crate's on fire. That exploded right in front of me, too. There's some ham here. A poisoned mug of beer. It burned up right in front of me. I gotta say, isn't beer, by definition, poison? Oh, it didn't burn up. Okay. Now, now. I need to give this beer to, uh... Bane. He likes poison beer. I'm going to give you some ham. Give it to Ifen. He likes meat. Raw meat. All right, there is a treasure chest up here, so I'm going to run up here and try to get it. And I'm slowed. Your ornate chest. Hey, there's some boots in here. There's some pixie dust. Ooh, that's expensive pixie dust, too. another chest up here a magical dagger that sets bleeding and backstab I'm gonna send it to Ifen there is a bark a bark at the rune pixie dust new recipe I'm going to pick up and add to wares and hey guess what Hydra Fist what? Water Damage Icicle Storm. Set it to Beast. Cook book? Yay! Icicles fall from the sky, chilling characters and dealing 8 to 9 water damage. They create ice surfaces when they hit the ground. Hey. Crafting Bible over here, too. Where's that crafting Bible? There it is. There's a golden spoon right here, too. I like golden spoons. Golden spoon. Five new recipes. Golden spoons are worth a lot of money, man. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get down here from here. Get my bearings a bit and see what's around. There's some arrows up on top. There's flaming pig, a dead flaming pig over there. We get a mushroom. Oh, Raw ribs, sinew, fire.
looking for treasure or any kind of stuff. Some of the stuff I can't see, some of it I can when I hit uh, the uh, alt button. Some of it shows up, some doesn't. So you have to be kind of vigilant a little bit too. There's, yeah, <clears throat> some bones over here. In them. There's some kind of structure over here too. Moving forward, trying to investigate a little bit, see if I find anything. Not really seeing much. Oh, there's a treasure chest up here. How do I get over there? My guy's on his way to it. Although I don't see where I'm going. <clears throat> Fight. I'm very far away from you. Oh. All right. Well, that's why I was telling you where I was going. Ooh, this is yeah, a decompo- Oh, there's a lot of them, too, man. Where you at? Pretty, uh, far ahead of you. Let's see. I need to try to protect Fane. Keep running. Because I am fighting right now and Fane's getting his butt kicked. Made it to the fight. Don't see the uh, fight queue yet. There we go. Yeah, you should be up in it. Bane's definitely needing some uh, help. What is that clear we throwing down with? Bunch of undead. Well, they did say the swamp is lousy with them. Ooh, there's something nasty here. Void walk in. Oh, did he just call me out? I think so. Can't tell if they're talking. You're just being rude and calling you a beast, or if it literally says me. Well, he melted my ice statue. Ugh. Bane's gonna need some protection here. Um, that decomposing swashbuckler uh, is pretty strong against uh, physical. There's a this void woken deep dweller is kind of dangerous, but the uh, decomposing cryomancer is up on a ledge over here, <clears throat> and there's this guy over here too. Both of them are out of armor. First water applies decaying. Characters take damage when healed. I'm okay with that, actually. Don't step in that water, though. Okay. There you go. Prepare yourself. Much damage coming to me. Oh, against champions of the god Blood Rain. Bane is down. I fit this back up again. Yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't see any enemies or anything. I thought we were totally safe. I was just looking for treasure up ahead. And I was telling you where I was so that you'd stay with me. I didn't realize you were so far back. I hit the wall. We gonna punt this fight and redo it? No, I'm... They're, they got a lot of hit points. Uh, a lot yeah, of hit no, points. We, already, we already got one guy done. Am I gonna start burning through res? Alright, we'll uh, check the uh, reload here. D&D <laughs> &D, rule 101. Don't split the party. <laughs> Don't split the party. Excuse me. I thought that uh, you were... I, I thought I was just kind of staying near you, or you were kind of just kind of lingering behind me. I didn't realize you were so far back. You're faster at this game than I am. I have to take a minute and understand what I'm looking at. I had two daggers to decide from, and... Yeah, I had no idea you were still back there. You can always set it to follow me, I think. You can right-click my guy and follow. And go blindly into that nonsense? Now we're back at the... <laughs> big thing. Burning. Oh, all right. Well, everybody, we are just going to go through and get grab the stuff like we did before. Uh, we'll be back here in a minute. All right. Uh, this time we didn't get uh, Icicle. We got Ricochet. So at least iphon has got something decent. Did you get that on his bar, by the way? I did. Okay. Go chat is operational. Oh, there's a treasure stump over here or tree stump <laughs> treasure stump. I'm misreading. I'm tired, everybody. Come here, but there's nothing in it. Jeez. There's another one over here. Oh. I see a trap Ouch. Oh, I see a trap nearby. I do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna smack through it. There's a swashbuckler digging up here. Or no, this is a lizard skeleton. Ooh. All right. Um, dead magister. We're gonna get in a fight. Are you ready? I am prepared. Where's that earth tongue mushroom over here? All right, I'm moving forward. You hear a dry cackle from the platform above. Turning, you see a rickety corpse staring down at you. So there is still fresh meat slithering around this mire. Our master will be pleased. Tell her he's dead. The skeleton laughs, its ribs shaking and clacking. Do you think I miss the centuries passing? The beast may be rotten as I, but his curses remained, at least until our new master arrived. Now we are free. Now we serve a higher purpose, a glorious mission, and neither you nor your kind will stand in our way. Uh, who's the new master? Oh, simple mind. My master has always been. It is we who came into being. He has given me life, and in return, I must take yours. I'll ask her if she wants to trade. She doesn't. Okay. That's a bad <laughs> deal. All right. Well, there's only a few of them in front of us here. All right. Um... The decomposing swashbuckler is nasty. The necromancer is nasty, but less nasty than before. Now I see two of them. I guess I'm going to run up here and stand next to her. Actually, stand next to her and whack her, too. Let's stand next to her first. Hi there. Um, I have the ability to knock you down or cripple you. Let's cripple her. Crippled. Oh, she fortified. That was pretty smart. That was rude. <laughs> oh, we're standing in oil. That can't be good.
Um, okay. Well... well undead, an undead crime coming up. I like that he takes a turn right away. He's gonna stand over here. There we go. Boom. Hey, that actually hit his uh, magic arm. Oh. Backstab critical. Oh, this is a decomposing assassin that showed up. And he went invisible again. Well, he smacked uh, the incarnate, so that's... Not as bad. The decomposing swashbuckler is uh, hit by my my oil totem. Let me examine him. Did it do anything to him? No, it's just pain shares lore. Doing something wrong. Teleport a target character or an item to a point of your choosing. I can't teleport myself. Did you pick yourself first? Cast the spell, select yourself, and then select where you're gonna go. Oh, well, I'm I'm obviously on my portrait because it's my turn. Yeah. I click on the spell, and it does the little animation there. Now click on yourself. Click. Invalid target. Will you teleport? Maybe ally? Yep. Is it ally? Okay. I can't. I can't teleport myself. It looks like, but at least we were looking for a means of getting our archer around. I found one. Bones were flying when I hit her. She's hurting. Hyphen should get a good hit on her. She's flanked too, so... That's the nice thing about the Incarnate. We actually have more bodies there. Boom! One more shot like that. And she's down. Uh-oh. Ouch. Oh, elemental totem. Let's put it in the water. Oops, I may have been a mistake. <laughs> oh, it's a thing. Hey, that's an assassin. Yeah. Popped Eiffen pretty hard. Popped Eiffen pretty hard. If it is diseased, uh, diseased means... <clears throat> this one con and minus 35% damage. Yep. I think spells and potions will damage you. Okay. I think switching to daggers only takes, like, one uh, action, too. So he might be good to use daggers and then start backstabbing and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. In the meantime... Some wand... And eat some wand. Oh, you like that? Getting hit in the back. Quack. Um, I'm just gonna whack him. Ouch. Bane's taking some hits there. So when you do it, do you just click on the weapon on your taskbar, or do you have to open up the character sheet? Um, I put the weapons on my taskbar, but you could probably do it on your character sheet, too. I mean, I mean you just click on the weapons on your taskbar, or...? Yeah. There you go. 
me into bleeding and the silence was blocked by magic armor. Decomposing Terramancer's belt. Send it to Beast to take a look at. Master's empty corpse. Intestines. Yeah, that's better than the belt that I'm wearing. Got a few resistances too, which is kind of nice. Yeah, plus I can give my belt the uh, hyphen. hyphen. Yeah. And oh. I'm sitting at 10% air resistance and 15% poison. My Fane has a good belt, too. Okay, yeah, the resistance is nice. There's some dead magisters up ahead, too, so I'm gonna go check them out. Magister saw the enemy of my enemy. They're dead, so I'm gonna get to loot them. They will not be mourned. Order some Dallas. Add to wares. That's actually worth money. That's no, I can't add it to wares. All right, well, whatever. It'll be sold eventually for 15. Arrow shaft. Yep. Thank you. There's some stuff over here. Or not. Or not. Yeah, I'll come back down. There is a waypoint up ahead I can see. We have to go up the hill though. Yeah, here's a waypoint. The serenity in the eyes of the granite statue seemed to infuse the air around the shrine. This place feels like a refuge from all harm, a place where fortune favors the fleeing. For the first time in what feels like forever, you feel safe. You know this is the statue's gift. You know the feeling will not last, but you are grateful nonetheless. I'm a thank statue. You feel the statue smile. You feel it embrace you. You fall into the most comfortable darkness. That doesn't sound great. Yeah, it's just a traveling waypoint. There is somebody up ahead, Zalaskar. Let's go talk to him. Get ready for a fight, though. But he looks neutral. The hooded man exudes a restrained menace that near matches your own. As he raises his head, the hood falls back, revealing the gleaming bone visage of an undead. Uh-oh. Be not frightened of me, delicate fleshed one. There's far worse than my bite in this quagmire. Perhaps I can even offer some aid, if you've the coin. Do you desire trinkets from the ancients? For the smallest of costs, I'll tell you. Barely a trifle. Um, ask who he is. With a horrific rasp of bone scraping against bone, he bows low before you. Call me Zalaskar. Now what else concerning me is yours to ask. My business is my own, and none of it yours. Fair enough. 
Um, I'm gonna ask about what he has to sell. I only stock the best baubles. The choice is curious. Curious. Take a look. I like those. Precious wares, are they not? All right, let's see what we got here. Well, I could definitely uh, sell my stuff. So let's uh, throw the wares in there. And hmm. uh, I don't know that. <laughs> thank you, Alexa. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to hold on to this Heart of the Tyrant for now, even though it's cursed. All right, let's see what he's got. Um, <clears throat> he's got a grass. Well, that's expensive. Never mind. I won't buy that. He's got four resurrection scrolls for a thousand gold. Hang I don't on, know. let me check. I don't know if that's each. I think I got... No, that's yeah, all I together. I got five hundred and change in my in my bag right now. Mm, he's got a really nice shield. Forty three physical armor, twenty nine magical armor, three hundred forty gold. He's got uh, two of them actually. Whoa! I think we could both use that. What's your, your what's your shield? Uh, my shield is currently sitting at twenty six sixteen with plus one to lucky charm. Uh, we're we're gonna buy those. I think there's no way around that. He's got... Uh... If we're buying those, I'm going to send you mine so you can sell it to him. Okay. Actually, yeah. I don't see it in my list right now. It's like you might be sending me stuff I don't have. And I'll have to open it back up. Uh, let's see. He does have, like, boots, and... He's got, like, non-magical stuff as well. Fish. No fish. Wand of nature. Wand of fire. Not very good. I mean, it is better than what I'm using, though. He's got medium healing potions. I can buy all those, maybe. That might help. I'm going to go ahead and accept this trade right now. And close it up. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, I'm going to send... Well, one of these gives me water resistance, which I'm going to give to you. And the other gives me hit points, which I'm going to keep for me. I'm just racking up the resistances. Well, yeah, that's part of it is, you know, your defenses are resistances. I think. I got 18 against poison, 13 against earth, and 13 against water right now. Three against fire, three against air. Send some to Ifen and one I'm gonna keep myself. Okay. I'll talk to him again here and sell some more stuff. I only stock the best precious wares, are they not? Well, he liked the trade we did before, so he's giving me an even better deal, I think. Oh, plus you're the the dude that does the di the thing, you know. I'm the dude with the thing. Yeah. Magical elven bow, which I think you gave me, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I already have a different bow. So his uh, big things now that he has are a two-handed axe, which is pretty nice, but. I'm not going to worry about it. A couple crossbows. Um, let's see. He's got a helmet that has finesse for seven physical armor, five magical armor. It's better than my skull cap, but I can't wear it. But it's it, finesse and I have two physical armor. Okay. 
That's 109. I'll go ahead and buy that. Um, Rawhide. Let's see, Hilder's Plate. That's Finesse. Let's see. Mage's Garnet. Bronze Scale Pants. I'm trying to find out what's good. Wizard Pants. Doesn't do anything. This is better than what I got on, but I, I, it's not a lot better. Snake Skin Armor. Some of this we've already like sold. He's got mage sandals, which are boots, two physical armor, ten magical armor. Uh, I have two physical armor shoes on uh, the cleric, but if it's a lot of money, don't do it because it doesn't sound awesome. Here's another one, thirteen physical armor, and yeah, I'm gonna buy that for tank. Yeah. <clears throat> Wizard mitts, there's gloves, two physical armor, 13 magical armor. Two physical, 13 magical? Yeah. Yes. Intelligence, though. You have intelligence, 11? Intelligence is nice, I have intelligence, 16. Yeah. But my gloves are nine physical, three magical with 2% crit. Okay. Nine magical and what physical? It's nine physical, three magical, plus two percent crit. No, these yours are pretty similar. I would argue that it's not worth paying money for the new ones. Yeah, that's um, that's my point. <clears throat> these pants are borderline better, but I'm gonna skip them. Then it's a uh, rawhide armor, 15 physical, 10 magical for your uh, for Iphen. More time. 15, 10. It's better than what I'm wearing if it's for the chest. How much better? Because it's expensive. Seven two. No. No. Yeah, we'll we'll skip out on some of that stuff. All right. Um, we will balance it out and accept. All right. Okay. Um, boots. I'm going to put those on. Excuse me. Beast. Iphen. I'm sending stuff to those people, by the way. Behind us, um, there's a bloody signpost and a drawbridge that is up. It must be back into town. I'm gonna go read the signpost here. A bloodstained sign reads, The Hollow Marshes in Knife Scratched Cursive. all right everybody well hope you enjoyed the episode um we are moving right along in the marshes here any last words from jim this marsh is not very marshy maybe right about that all right thanks for joining everybody we'll see you in the next episode when we dive back into the marsh, there is something red up ahead. The decomposing swashbuckler again. We'll probably be dealing with him next time. All right. Peace out.